Hey, good evening. This is Wilfredo bringing you the word of the day. Um, craziness around our life going, going on right now around the world. Uh, despite of the craziness that is going around, uh, you could not even come close to the craziness that happened during the time of Jesus, when Jesus showed up. Um, so, it, our regeneration, it's almost looking ahead and thinking, oh, we are, we're having it bad, but um, this is nothing. The level of lies in the world right now cannot even compare in the times of Jesus when he showed up and when he paid the price for us by dying on the cross and um, the, the level of darkness that's that was the highest the highest that the darkness goes so even though we're we're fighting darkness right now we're fighting lies um, we're fighting the devil to a certain extent it cannot compare to the level that Jesus defeated the devil and the darkness um to nice intro is John 8:32 You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Um this is a promise that Jesus gave to a it wasn't his disciples, it wasn't the 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 apostles. It was a group of believers, a group of Jewish people that somehow ended up believing in Jesus. And and he tells them, hey, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And right after this, this group of Jewish believers who were very, very, um, who just recently believed after they were hearing him, uh, they turned to Jesus and said, why we're, ne we're we're never slaves? Um, why why would we know the truth and be and and will be set free? We were never slaves. And then Jesus tells them, "You are uh, f f you are slaves of sin. You are slaves of sin." So he tells this to a Jewish people who were putting their faith in Jesus, but they were not quite in yet. Um, and this is what Jesus. You keep if you keep in my words, you stay with me. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And um, right at the bat, after that, they say we're not we're we're not we're sons of Abraham. And then Jesus tells them, "You are slave of sin," because not only were they believing in Jesus, but they also wanted to kill Jesus. He says, "Your sin is that you want to kill me," and. Um, and that's where he was going to set him free from, from that sin. That they wanted to kill Jesus. And 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 um, apparently it was people that were believing in Jesus. So so this this thing of darkness, of lies, um, it's nothing new. It is, it's not as the intensity that it had when, it, when Jesus showed up. Um, but, um, but it was defeated. Jesus defeated it at the third day. Jesus rose with power, and now that same power lives in us. That truth, that light is in us, in, in us, and it's for the benefit of the world. Uh, Jesus spoke to them again. In uh, verse 8, 12, just, we're going to see Jesus as referring himself as the light. Jesus spoke to them again, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the life, the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, the Pharisees said to him, uh, you are testing, testifying about yourself. Your testimony is not valid. Um, if we were to see somebody in our modern times, this scenario playing out, it would be um, Donald Trump is the best example for this. Uh, the president, uh, how the people judge him. Uh, this is how they did to Jesus. Um, they say the Pharisees were one of his own. Uh, he, they, he, they tell him, you are full of it. 
That's what were they saying. That's what they were saying to Jesus. You are full of it. And uh, you're testifying about yourself. Your testimony is not correct. And Jesus tells, tells him, your testimony is not valid. And Jesus says, even if I testify about myself, Jesus replied, my testimony is true. Because I know where I came from and where I'm going. But you do not know where I come from and where I'm going. Uh, these times, in this moment in time, um, to be in the side of the Pharisees would have been to be in the wrong side. It would have been the nor it would be the obvious thing to do, because they were the establishment, they were the um, the uh, the leaders of the Jewish people, uh, and Jesus was like it was like um, almost seen as a rebel, um, and as a as as a as a deceiver. As somebody who was claiming something that was too big for him. That's that's the whole idea of the Pharisees telling Jesus, You're too full of it. We hate you. We um we don't believe in you. And um and that's what they're I literally saying. Uh and you would say, Oh, but uh, why would they say this to Jesus? Um because we were not there. But I like I say we have an example now. Somebody who speaks truth is seen and is portrayed by the media, by the Pharisees our of our time, as a false person, as a uh, as a person full of himself, and it's sad to see that. But in this time, Jesus tells him, "Hey, I know where I came from. I know where I'm going. You judge by human standards." I judge no one, and if I do judge, my judgment is true, because it's not I alone who judge, but it's the Father who sent me. Even if your law is written that the testimony of two witnesses is true, I am the one who testifies about myself, and the Father who sent me testifies about me. Then they ask him, where is your father? You know neither nor my father, Jesus answered. If you knew me, would also know my father. He spoke these words by the treasury while teaching in the temple but no one cites him because his hour has not yet come um it's it's interesting when you can understand the bible when you can read it um when the holy spirit teaches you the bible and and you're able to understand to grasp the idea so this is this was not easy for jesus um, the the awesome thing of Jesus is that he was he was grace he was true coming to the world uh, and exposing himself to his own being rejected by his by his own uh, because they thought he was full of him, of himself he was no man of God that was their idea uh, even though he showed. And and show otherwise, um, and ultimately they kept saying, "Give us a sign! Give us a sign that you are the prophet of God, that you're the Son of Man, that the Messiah, and we will believe in you." But they really didn't want to believe. They were so full of unbelief. Um, they were so full of darkness, so full of darkness, and um, they be, they they were creators of lives it came to a point in john where jesus says you want to do the will of your father and uh and it tells them you are uh your your father is 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 the father of lies so truth the light of of god is jesus that's the truth of god um ultimately darkness seems like it wants to win but um it does not win greatest peak of all times of all darkness even in the in the uh, dark ages uh you would think that the, the, that was the greatest moment of darkness but it wasn't it wasn't then it wasn't in the dark times in the dark ages uh when the plague uh killed the one third of humanity um so today even though we're we're fighting darkness it's it's not as heavy as before it's not the same 
it was bitten before, it will be bitten again. It will not prosper. It will not stand. Because darkness has a tendency to destroy. To destroy itself. Whatever is evil. It just has a tendency to to go down. Uh, to go down. And, uh, and Christ came to the world. For us not to get destroyed. But to go up. To ascend. To go higher. And... Um, and his truth will set us free. Free from sin. Free from the darkness. From the power of darkness. Free from the lies of the world. Uh, free from sickness. Free, free from death. Free from poverty. Uh, we will live the life of grace and truth. In Jesus name. So that's the message for today. The light. Let that light shine on you. From you to other people, especially in these times of need. Um, we're not fighting other people. We're fighting an invisible invisible uh, dark force. But it's not as strong as the beginning when Jesus was flesh. Um, that was the strongest the darkness. The, the strongest the darkness was. And the darkness could not envelop the light. Uh, there was no no way, so they will they had never will win. They will never win. Darkness has been defeated by Jesus. We had His flesh. We had His blood. We have more than victories in the name of Jesus. So that's it for today. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.